as promised, here's Sifu Liang Ting. Now, we have uh, formulated a few questions and we have an ex extensive demonstration of Wing Chun set up for you, which we're going to go to in a little bit. Um, Sifu, yeah. can you uh, tell me a little bit about the origin of Wing Chun? Tell me what Wing Chun is for the people okay. who don't. Uh, uh, let me put it like this, okay? Uh, what we call Chinese Kung Fu is actually a wide term of Chinese martial arts. And uh, we have over 300 systems of Chinese Kung Fu in China. And Wing Chun is one of the systems, okay? And the founder uh, was a woman, and she learned this uh, from a Buddhist nun. When she learned this from the Buddhist nun, and later she married, and then she passed this new tenet to her husband. And later, when her husband came out and taught this Chinese Kung Fu, then of course, you know, the students would ask, what is this? Then, uh, because of the memory of his wife, she named it Wing Chun Kung Fu. So actually, you know, Wing Chun was the, was the name of uh, his wife. Uh, the whole name was Yim Wing Chun. You know, Chinese uh, traditionally put the feminine name in front of uh, their own name, right? So Yim was the feminine name, and Wing Chun was her own name. It was. It happened already 300 years ago. 300 years. So yes. We date back. We date Wing Chun back 300 yeah. years. Did these? Here's a question we didn't talk about, but. Did the um, origin of Wing Chun, is that in uh, books and, and writings of that time? No. There's no references to it? No references. It's just passed down just from passed generation down by, yeah, by to generation. Just passed down by his days. Yeah, generation by generations. Okay. That's amazing. So this is one form of Kung Fu that was developed initially by a woman. Yes. The only form. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, really? I, now, I, I know somewhere someone had mentioned something about Wu Mei. Do you know anything about that? Mm. No, I don't heard of. I okay. don't heard about anything about. Wu I, I didn't know. I thought there was another woman who had somewhere no. in in history taught Chinese. There was a, there was a system called Park Mei, but Park, Park Mei means Mei. white eyebrow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. see, when we had talked about yes. that a little bit. <laughs> um, tell me some of the countries that uh, you have your your schools in. Oh uh, well, I have uh, branches over twenty five countries now. I have, uh, of course, I have uh, branches in America, right? In England, uh, in Yugoslavia, in Poland, and also I even have a small branch in uh, Russia. Yes, Egypt, of course, and West Germany, Denmark, and so on and so on. So really, this is being taught all over the world. Uh, nearly. <laughs> well, of course, and hopefully. Yes. The way Kung Fu is taught, being handed down from generation to generation, yeah, right? People uh, may not realize that you have hundreds of thousands of students that may not directly be student of you, but through your training of other teachers, those people are students of yours. Right. So you train the teachers, then the teachers in turn train students, right. and that's how the kung fu is spread. Yes throughout the world and to as many as, as you say, hundreds of right, thousands of right. people. Um, there, uh, there's a question about Kung Fu in the movies. Now, people, we, we talk about Kung Fu in the movies a lot on the program. People ask, you know, how can they do all this fantastic stuff? And you told me that uh, the way it's done, it's set up for the camera. And we're going to see a little bit Okay. We're going to see a little bit of that a little <laughs> okay. later. But we also have, we have some, a list of things that we're going to do here now. So I thought we'd have Mr. Leo Moore and Mark Jackson come out and show us uh, the first of the self-defense techniques. Okay, this is called Su Nim Tao. It's a form. Okay, it's the a form. I'm form. sorry. Yeah, it's Excuse me. Form. Christopher Ward. You have enough room there, Chris? Okay. This is the fundi This is the uh, basic form of uh, Wing Chun Kung Fu. Uh, in this form, you can see that all the movements are so soft. You see, so that's why you know actually in Wing Chun we don't need any warm up exercise or any gymnastics, because you know our fear is like that. Once if some people challenge you in the street, actually you have no time to do any gymnastics before you fight with him, right? So uh, actually this form is already a warmer exercise. And also, now you think that all the movements are so soft, right? But actually, all the movements are practical for fighting. Later, you can see from the self-defense tenet and uh, the chisel tenet. A very interesting form. Now, 
Um, how many, do, could we know how many moves this form is made up out of? Oh, it's very simple, you know. And the, yeah, and also the characteristic of this form is like that, you know. You never can see him move a little bit. Uh -huh. This does not happen in the other Kung Fu systems. Uh, we traditionally say that there are totally 108 points in this form. We uh -huh. don't we don't call it movements, you know. Uh -huh. The 108 is Pons. a very popular number in in, in China. In China, because right. I guess it's 108 pressure <laughs> points. Thank you very much, Mr. Ward. 108 pressure points on the body, right? Uh, yeah, they say so. Okay. Um, the, you know, I I also I was looking in the uh, bookstores, and I saw you have a very successful and popular book that's on sale here in this country. You told me it's how many languages is it? You know? uh, we have uh, totally eight languages. Eight languages. We have a uh, Chinese, Yugoslavian, German, Spanish, Italian. Uh, also, uh, now we have Polish in Poran language, and also we have uh, another one uh, in French. Okay. All right. We'll be back with more of Sifu Liangting and the martial art forms in a moment. Stay tuned.